Hi, I'm Danny Johnson, and we want to welcome you to The Insider. Hey, there's a topic that I wanted to talk to you about today. In fact, I had just gotten off of my radio show, and there was quite a heated topic that we talked about. I don't know if you've heard, but there's some people in high places who are trying to tell you that the business or the success that you're attempting to build, that you're not the one doing it. Well, I want to talk to you about the reality of success as a business owner, my husband Hans and I having five companies, sometimes more than that, and making investments that we've done for the last, well, for me, 23 years that I've been in business. I know exactly what it takes to actually succeed in business. And what I can tell you is what I have found with working with hundreds of thousands of people from all over the world. What I have found is that 98% of the population that ends up dead or dead broke at the age of 65, there is a certain way that they think. There is a certain mentality that they have. It's kind of been ingrained into them, almost programmed like you program a computer. And that mentality is, which causes them to end up broke at 65 or dead, is a mentality that somebody is supposed to do everything for them or that if they find the right opportunity, then they will succeed. Or if they could find the right job, or if they could marry the right person, or if they could find the right product or the right service, or if they lived in the right city and they, if they had the right house, everything is always about the circumstances that are around them instead of the reality. What does it actually take to succeed? You see, 2% of the population is going to end up financially independent. The difference between these two populations is the way they think, the way they approach life, the way they make decisions, and how they see circumstances. The truth is, is that all of us live here on planet Earth. Well, maybe not all of us, but the vast majority who are watching this video, they realize they live on planet Earth. We're all human. We've all been given 24 hours in a day, and we all work, or at least you're supposed to. We all work. Whether that's you work in the home or out of the home, we all work. So if we all have 24 hours in a day, we all live on planet Earth and we all work, what are you doing with your time? Because people like a Bill Gates or the late Steve Jobs, they had lived on planet Earth, they had 24 hours in a day and they worked. Why is it that they made so much more money than the rest of us? Because there is a variable in the equation of success and that variable is you. It's you, not your government that you're working under, not the boss, not the business, not the manufacturing, not the product, not the service, you and what you do with what you have. You see, when I first got started in business, you know, as a homeless, broke, fat cocktail waitress, well, the business that kind of presented itself to me, if you will, it was actually sitting in my back seat. It was not something that I wanted to do, but as a cocktail waitress, I knew that I'd be homeless for another three months and I knew it, I would never pay off my $35,000 in debt making the amount that I was making as a cocktail waitress. So I came to that conclusion. Hopefully you're coming to the same conclusion. This is not going to work. I have to find a way to generate more income. Well, that business that was in the back seat of my car really wasn't a business. It was a product. And it was a product that I wasn't interested in. It was a product that didn't work for me. It was a product that I had no credibility in. It was in the weight loss industry. I was fat. Who was going to listen to me? I'm fat. Who's going to listen to me? I didn't even like this product. That's how come it was sitting in the back of my car instead of actually me using it. Well, I didn't believe in it. I didn't like it. It wasn't my lifelong dream and passion. It wasn't the right business in my opinion at that time. But I had to step up and become the right person in order to get out of debt, to make more money and to make a change in my life. Rather than waiting around for someone to sail in and save the day, yeah, I had to make some serious changes. You know, and that's unfortunate because people who are struggling right now, they're waiting for someone to take the problems away. They're waiting for someone to change the circumstances. They're waiting to be found. They're waiting for somebody to make all the difference for them. There is no somebody. Actually, I have to correct myself. You are the somebody. It's you. So I started that business from the trunk of my car and the payphone booth, and you know the rest of the story. I made $2,000 profit the first four days. Within 45 days, I made $18,000. By my 10th month in business, income for that month was $80,000. First year, a quarter of a million dollars. By the end of my second year, I made my first million. 
I'm happy to tell you that there was not a government that came in and helped me start that business. <laughs> nope. And there wasn't a person that came in and helped me build that business. Nope. I had to learn the skills of developing a team of people with skills of learning how to motivate them, pull the best out in them, as well as skills that I had to learn on how to market, how to present, how to close, and how to develop a reputation in a place where I had a horrible reputation on building that business. So if you are one of those that's trying to cross over from 98 to 2%, one of the things that you must confront are these mindsets and these beliefs that it's the outside circumstances that are going to make you successful. It's not. It's you. And it's time you take personal responsibility for what's happening in your job. If you're not getting promoted, if you're not getting the raise, if you're not moving forward, you have to take personal responsibility and you have to ask yourself the question, how can I make myself more valuable? So I'm so proud of you for being here in the Insider because there's things in here, tips that we're sharing with you on video as well as audio and articles that are going to help you to become more valuable. But what about that business that isn't quite where you want it to be financially? Quit blaming the economy. Don't blame the government. Don't blame your spouse for not supporting you. Don't blame the prospects that you're talking to that are all broke. No, you haven't yet figured out how to get the cash out of their hands in place of your product or your service because they are spending money somewhere. My family was at Six Flags last weekend. Oh my gosh, thousands and thousands of people spending thousands of dollars for one day of pleasure. Those are the same people that are telling you they can't afford your product or service. Hello? They didn't tell Six Flags they couldn't afford that expensive ticket or that $10 Slurpee. Give me a break. People are spending money. You need the skill to learn how to get them to spend it with your product or service. So don't blame your spouse. Don't blame the kids. Don't blame your past. Don't blame your customers. Don't blame anything. It's time to step up and get the skills that you need to succeed because at the end of the day, you're the one that has to grow that thing. You're the one that has to pay off the debt. You're the one that's going to build that career or that business. You're the one that's going to fix the things in the marriage. You're the one that it's all going to fall down to. So it's up to you to get what you need so that you can succeed. Listen, if I can do it and the tens of thousands before me who have done it and after me, then so can you. So I'll see you next time here on The Insider. Hey, get on over to Facebook and say hello. There's a total of 127,000 as of this very moment, that have all joined together on that page. It's a community that are doing their best to cross over from 98 to 2%. It's your turn. So I, I believe you can do it. They believe you can do it. Now let's just join forces and make it happen and show the rest of the people at the top that, uh, yeah, we don't need them to do it for us. Let's step up and make it happen. See you next time here. On well, ladies and gentlemen, I trust that you were stirred. You were stirred by today's uh, personal development training. This was coming from what we call our value vault, our value vault. Uh, the Funnel Blueprint is a training and a marketing portal that we're going to be launching to our audience uh, very, very soon. And one of the big things that we're going to have in the Funnel Blueprint is what we call the value vault. Now, what the value vault is, is a collection of valuable, valuable content that you can share with your audience. You see, in making money in your enterprise, in making money online, in making money with mobile marketing, uh, you want to build a list. You then want to bond with that list. Now, how do you bond with that list? By providing consistent, valuable content to that list. You don't have to be the content creator. You just have to provide valuable content. I'm not the person that just did the personal development uh, uh, training there. I'm simply providing to my audience that content. And inside of our funnel blueprint, you're going to have um, a plethora, like that big word for a college kick out. You're going to have a plethora of valuable training that you can share with your audience. Now, why is this so important? Because you want to build a list, but then you want to cultivate that list so that becomes a responsive list. You see, you build your list and you bond with the list. You build your list and you bond with your list. You build your list, you bond with your list, and ultimately, you monetize the list. Now, let me give you a THW story here, THW uh, um, um, example. So when THW comes across my desk, I send out an email to my list. 
I get a, almost an immediate response from a gentleman who's in my list who had already heard about THW Global and had already made the decision that he was going to, hey, it's free, let me try it out. Because he's been in my list for quite some time and because we brought value to that list, when he found out that I was promoting THW Global, he said, hey, give me your referral link. He joined with me. He now leads our team in terms of personal enrollment. Um, at last check, he had over 354 personal enrollments, and this was during the pre-launch phase. Uh, he's personally enrolled uh, a gentleman who has 199 enrollments, and his team now is several thousands of people strong. But that all happened because one, I had a list, and two, I've cultivated that list so that list is respons responsive. And how do we cultivate the list? We're constantly providing value to that list. It's not just a pitch fest. It's not just a join me, join me, join me. Uh, although there's no problem with join me, join me, join me, or buy from me, buy from me, buy from me, as long as that join me message or that buy from me message is framed, wrapped in value. So I want you to really pay attention to our messages that will be going out because we're going to be incorporating some of these value vault types of messages. Some of these messages are like you just saw, personal development designed to strengthen people, to motivate them. Uh, some of these messages are comedic in nature, designed to put a smile on their face. Some of these messages, a lot of these messages are going to be training messages uh, that people can take that, that training and uh, as actionable content to help them build out their particular business. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, make sure you continue to follow us. And um, there's probably a link or something below. You know, maybe you're seeing this on social media. Uh, but if you're seeing this at one of our uh, uh, pages, there's probably a place that, that you can make sure that you're registered for our webinars and you're registered to get this type of content uh, until we've launched the funnel blueprint. With that being said, we love each and every one of you. Let's change the world together, starting with yours.